This man is a farmer. He is also an engineer, a father, a Sunday school teacher, and a former governor. This man is Jimmy Carter, an uncommon man who is now running for the Democratic nomination for president. By any stretch of the imagination, Jimmy Carter has come a long way since his childhood days in a small town called Plains, Georgia. My folks have been farmers in Georgia for more than 200 years. And we've been living around here for, oh, 150 years. He had to work every afternoon. He didn't, could, didn't have a chance to run around. We didn't have a car for him. And he had to come home every afternoon and work, work real hard out in the field. Everybody in the family loved each other. We had to work together. Uh, we didn't recognize hardships. We thought we were having a great life, and I think we probably were. And uh, it was a tight-knit uh, family life uh, bound together with love. I never did, I never did spank him. No, he was, I don't, you know, I never did spank him. I might have given you a little lick in passing, but I mean, a real whipping, I never gave him one. That was, I left that with his father. My children will be the sixth generation on the same land. And although I've had a good chance to get an education as an engineer and a scientist, nobody in my family before my generation ever had a chance to finish high school. We've always worked for a living. We know what it means to work. Hard work has been the driving force in Jimmy Carter's life. From building a small farm into a successful family business to the hard campaigning that made him governor of the largest state east of the Mississippi. Jimmy Carter knows that it was working people who built America. He knows because he is a working man himself. I want to be tested in the most severe possible way I can't think of any more severe way than campaigning 250 days this year outside of Georgia or entering 31 different primaries. I want the people of this country to know my character, my strengths and my weaknesses, my stand on the issues. If I can measure up to what the American people want our government to be, I'll be elected. I know you are, yeah. Well, the girl is pretty in the fair. How can you help back you having a good time? People in our country are not for anybody anywhere. They are looking for a candidate they can trust. They see Jimmy and they respond to him. It's great. Thank you very much. I don't have to be elected for There are a lot of things that I would not do to be elected. And I'd like you to listen closely because I mean it. I'll never tell a lie. I'll never make a misleading statement. I'll never betray the confidence that any of you has in me. And I will never avoid a controversial issue. I won't be any better president than I am a candidate. Watch the television, listen to the radio. If you ever see me do any of those things, don't support me because I would not be worthy to be the president of this country. But I don't intend to do any of those things because my faith and my confidence and my support and my criticism and my advice comes from people like you who don't want anything selfish out of government they want to see us once again have a nation that's as good and honest and decent and truthful and competent and compassionate and is filled with love as all the American people. Vote for Jimmy Carter and all the Carter delegates in the Nebraska primary, May 11th.